welcome! Requested material obtained.
Okay, this should be enough. What do we have? Broken toys, dirty ledgers, small shoes. Pod, take a photo of this junk and send it to Operator 210. Affirmative. Operator 210 to 9S. Hello, Operator. How can I help you? I've received your data. Great. Does it seem useful? That depends on what I do with it. Oh, all right. It is, however, fascinating. I was aware that humans used to live in groups, but I did not know they coexisted in such a wide variety of ways. I'm sure you're aware that most humans subsisted in small familial units. Uh, familial? A family is a group of people that share a connection by blood or social custom. If androids had a similar system of families... <laughs> Operator? Are you there? I've said too much. I must return to my duties. And she disconnected me. I have additional information to relate. I've sent mail with a reward. Please read it. And 9S? Thank you. Man, she disconnected me again. Well, if she's thanking me, I guess it must have gone okay. Uh, right? Purpose of question unknown. Exhausting. He doesn't care at all about anyone but himself. And yet his followers just keep talking about how great he is. What's the point of all this? And what's he even getting out of it? Maybe you should ask him.
He's nothing if not consistent. A weirdo right to the very end. I wonder if all his followers being female had something to do with his weirdness. Did the human sexes interact with each other like this? Who knows?
believe the size of the commercial facility. The people of the old world must have led pretty good lives. Hmm, that's a strange flower. Analysis. It is a plant known as a lunar tear. A lunar tear. <sighs> huh? When did you get here? So this flower is called a lunar tear. Seeing that dredges up all kinds of memories. Some of them are a bit strange, honestly. Like the one where I'm being attacked by a giant boar over and over again? Or another, where I keep trying out new parts every time my body is damaged. Sounds rough. Something about this flower fills me with an emotion I don't really understand. 
It's like something's pushing down on my chest really hard. So, um, do you mind if I ask you a favor? If you find lunar tears growing anywhere else, would you let me know? I want to try and figure out what this feeling is all about. What do you say? Aw, oh, thanks! If you find another lunar tear, just let me know on this frequency, alright? I'm counting on you!
This is a lunar tier, right? We'd better let Emil know. Hey there, guys. What's up? We found a lunar tier. It's located at... Stay right there! I'm coming! Uh, okay. I hope he doesn't expect me to just stand here all day. Sorry to keep you! Yeah. Oh, hey. Now that I think about it, this whole area was once... Are you remembering something? It's all pretty fuzzy, but I seem to have a memory of caring for this flower a long time ago. But the sand kept expanding, and the flowers gradually wilted. Now that I think about it, that was around the same time I stopped seeing people. You mean humans? Thanks a bunch for finding this. Really. Oh, and let me know if you find any more, okay? I'm gonna stay here for a bit. material obtained. It's a lunar tear. 
I'd better tell Emil. Hey there! What's going on? I found one of those flowers you were looking for. It's over at... Don't move an inch! I'm coming! Don't move? I'm actually kind of busy... Sorry to keep you! Damn, you're fast! Uh, that's it. I remember now. Back when the aliens first invaded, I fought as hard as I could to save Earth. You did? I think... I had something I wanted to protect. Something really precious to me. But I don't know what it was. Thank you for finding this. You'll let me know if you find any more, right? I'm gonna stay here for a bit.
This part belongs to a machine life form. So it's just a bunch of junk? While lacking in value, it may be connected to the supposed treasure of the Forest Kingdom. Proposal. It should be confiscated for safekeeping. So it's just a bunch of junk? While well, lacking in value, it may be connected to the supposed treasure of the Forest Kingdom. Proposal. It should be confiscated for safekeeping. Just a bunch of junk? While lacking in value, it may be connected to the supposed treasure of the Forest Kingdom. Proposal. It should be confiscated for safekeeping. Analysis. Machine life form parts can be assembled in some fashion. Processing. Processing. Processing complete. Machine life form parts can be assembled into a key. Proposal. Initiate search for a door that matches the key. A corresponding key will likely be required.
What's this? Some kind of writing. It reads, here lies the king of our forest. Alert, storage media found. Digitization and saving complete. Wait, so is this the treasure?
It's a lunar tear. I'd better tell Emil. Hey there! What's up? I found a lunar... I'm on my way! Sorry to keep you! As speedy as always, I see. Oh. Oh. That's right. What happened here, Emil? I was fighting the aliens. It wasn't going well. So I decided to create multiple versions of myself to help with the fight. But the aliens just kept coming. I lost so many friends that day. It was a long time ago, but still. Say, Emil, how old are you anyway? I'm not sure. I didn't need that memory to fight. Thank you for finding this. You'll let me know if you find any more, right? I'm gonna stay here for a bit.
Well, aren't we generous? Hmm? All this help for no personal gain? I know she's pretty, but... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! It's not like that! I mean, she is pretty, but that's... It's not... Whatever. Report. Mail notification received from access point.
About goddamn time. If I ever see that bossy robo monk again, it'll be too soon, let me tell you. I suppose. <sighs> Stupid machine. All he cared about was getting stronger until we finally scrapped him. But now we don't have to see him ever again. What a relief. Indeed. We need to find someone wearing a red hood. Sounds like that red hood was a gift of some sort. Gifts are such a useless ritual. Wow, okay. Where'd that come from? It's rude to give a person something without their permission. What if they don't want it? Mm, I think it's more about the feeling behind it than the actual item, right? Feelings are prohibited. Yeah, yeah. One affirmation will suffice. Oh, for the love of... Fine. Yeah. Red Hooded Target should be in the desert. Stay alert. She could be our killer. But there's only one female Resistance member at the desert station. Hmm. I don't see her. Let's ask that guy over there.
Alert. The description of a female resistance member with red hair matches that of our client. But if it's the same person, why would she have had the killer's hood? Hypothesis. The red-haired resistance member is either the killer or an accomplice. Let's go talk to her. Report. Mail notification received from access point. Storage circuits. 
I didn't know there was such a thing. Did you two be? <laughs> Some things are better left unknown. Yeah, I suppose so. I should probably tell Emil about this lunar tea. Sorry to keep you! I didn't even contact you yet. Uh. Emil, are you okay? I just remembered. I... Hmm? Uh. Thank you again. You've helped me remember an important place. Oh? A place very special to him. In thanks, I'll tell you how to visit it. Please take this key. What's it for? It'll let you access the elevator in the shopping mall. You should head there whenever you have the time. I'm sorry. I need to stay here for a while. You go on ahead. Pleasant. 
This must be what Emil's key is for. the lunar tears where are we thank you for coming Emil what is this place it's the place from my memories that I work so hard to protect or to be exact the place protected by the person I used to be uh, sorry I don't get it ago I was created to be a weapon a weapon that could adapt to any environment, and one capable of total destruction. 
You're... a weapon? When the war against the aliens started, I decided to strengthen that weapon by creating copies of myself. Interesting. So, in truth, I'm only one of a countless number of Emiles. I... or we, I guess, worked with each other to keep our defensive lines intact. But the more of ourselves we created, the more our original memories began to fade. The original Emil liked this place a lot. He spent a lot of time here with people he loved. They were tough times, sad times. But the memories of that journey were his greatest treasure. And I have a few traces of those memories in my own mind. Where's the original Emil now? I don't know. There were so many of us that after a while, we just... Oh. And there's still something that all of us Emils need to settle. Hmm? Ah, <laughs> oh, right. I should probably repay you for all of your help. Please take this. It's said that a lunar tear can make any wish come true. Thank you. Oh, no. I'm the one who should be thanking you. You've helped me find some of my precious memories. Now I'll be able to keep pushing forward, even if I'm alone. Help me find some of my precious memories. Now I'll be able to keep pushing forward, even if I'm alone.
2B. Your timing is impeccable. Our android forces currently have a carrier deployed in the Pacific Ocean. It should be back here to resupply before too long. The Resistance is assisting with the mission, so I'd like to ask you to run a little guard duty. Seriously? Dead serious. There's a stockpile of missiles down at the shoreline that needs to be loaded on the carrier. And with all the machine activity lately, we need to stay on our toes. Of course, if you're already working on something for Yorha, I don't mind if that takes priority. Anyway, thanks in advance. It's our job and all, but these resistance types sure do use and abuse us, don't they? Why must we read all these books, brother? Knowledge expands horizons and enriches existence. But can't we just transfer all this data over instantly? Into your head, perhaps, but not to your heart. Uh, I guess. Hmm. Hey, so... Yes? My name? Eve? This book says it's a woman's name. Shouldn't we be called Cain and Abel or something instead? Humans wouldn't change names so easily. Besides, you should be proud of the name Eve. Huh. Well, if that's what you think, then I'm fine with it. Glad to hear it. Um... Is there something else? After we're done reading, can we go out and play? I'm sure it'll be tons of fun. All right. But only after we're finished. You mean it? Then I'm gonna try extra hard to finish this. Extra, extra hard! You do that. Bedrock here was bombed out in the last war. Looks like the whole city is starting to sink as a result.
Target missile sighted. Is that what we need to protect? Let's take him out already so I can be home in time for dinner and a bath. Androids don't need to bathe. As long as you perform regular cleaning and maintenance, bathing is unnecessary. Yeah, but come on, 2B. It still feels good. I think that's the last of the machines. 2B, 9S, come in. Commander? Emergency orders incoming. The carrier ship that was set to resupply has come under attack. It's currently being engaged by a swarm of machines. I've asked all your troops in the city ruins for assistance, and I'll need you to provide backup as well. I'm sending flight units and coordinates now. Good luck. Out. You see? Total slave driver. Whoops. If she didn't order others around, what kind of leader would she be? Hmm. If you say so. Scale enemy inbound. Looks to be 2.8 clicks southwest of us. Area Recon- Wait, I'm still picking up a large enemy presence. Didn't I kill that already? What on- 
If it's that big, we should be able to see it! Well, that's new. <laughs> It's freaking huge! Crap! It's blocking close-range attacks with EMP blasts. We've got to find another way to damage it. Operator 210 to 9S. Command has decided to stage a direct satellite laser strike on the hostel. We need you to destroy the enemy EMP generator so we can lock onto the target. EMP generator? Sending the coordinates to your map now. EMP generator target confirmed. Marking on map. Proposal. Destroy the generator quickly. elimination of electromagnetic interference. Stand by for incoming satellite laser strike. Oh, come on! It's got an electromagnetic barrier over its whole body? Having trouble over there? Are you Yorha? Hunter Squadron deploying out of North 12C Defense HQ. I'm the commanding officer, 4B. Don't worry, we'll take it from here. To b Let's leave this area to the reinforcements. I have an idea. You and I should meet up at the spot I just marked. We've got mortars lining the shoreline here. All the EMP shielding in the world won't help against close-range mortar fire. Got it. I'll help aim.
Sun's armor is too thick. We need more firepower. 2B, let's try for a more direct approach. Direct? Oh, right. That's right. Lay down some fire in its stupid mouth. To be. This is bad. Activate missile controls. Prepare to launch. Missile controls engaged. Launch ability confirmed. Fire! I didn't think this would be so hard to control. Alert. Obstacle ahead. A collision at this speed is not recommended. Well aware, thank you. rescue party for the missing Yorha members at once. To be. 
Nines. Don't die on me. The child held sway over enormous strength. But sadly, he was also a little bit broken. He spent his long days hurting those around him. He tried his best to be good and kind. But despite his efforts, things never seemed to turn out. They told him he was unwanted. They abandoned him in the deep, dark ocean. And from the cold at the bottom of the sea, he cried out, Mother! 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 But his voice never reached his mother. This is Tactical Support Unit, Pod 042, assigned to 2B. This is Tactical Support Unit, Pod 153, assigned to 9S. We pods often participate in the same battles. Exchanging our situational data would theoretically allow us to plan combat strategies in a more efficient manner. Proposal. Data should be transferred regularly between Pod 042 and Pod 153. Analysis. This idea is sound. Proposal accepted. Records will be organized in time for the next situational exchange.
Each of the machines treated their treasures with great care. One treasured family above all else. Another treasured its older sibling. Another treasured its own beauty. But one more machine treasured something unique above all else. Engage memory core diagnostics. Yeah, yeah. A single reply is sufficient for acknowledgement. Fine. Memory core diagnostics complete. No issues detected. Good. Proposal. Engage visual sensor diagnostics. You got it. Visual sensor diagnostics complete. No issues detected. All checks complete. <sighs> Took long enough. Don't you think it's overkill to perform a full data overhaul? Unit 9S was seized by the enemy and placed in a non-controlled state for an extended period of time. There is a high probability of corruption by an enemy logic virus. All right, all right. Cram it. Anyway, I just gotta sync up with the bunker server and then I'm out of here, right? Huh? What was that? Unknown. Halt the data sync. Alert. Data synchronization is mandatory for all your high units. Yeah, I know that, but we just got some kind of weird noise. Halt the data sync for 2B as well. Affirmative. Let's figure out where that noise came from. Just to be sure, you know? Open a port to the server.
Hmm, no time to examine everything. Better stick to the main data nodes. Detected. Your HUD unit storage records. What's the point of all this heavy security? All the black box data has been deleted, but it looks like everything else is here. What's a barrier doing here? Hmm. Looks like records for supplies shipped to the moon. Strange. There were a ton of empty containers. That's weird. Why would they do that? Huh? A new port just opened. Detected. Council of Humanity and Project Yorha Records Index. Alert. We are not authorized to access this data. Man, this stuff is all wrong. I need to check this out, too. An attack barrier? Really? Why the heck would they install one of those in this server? Let's see. It looks like info about how the Council of Humanity was formed as part of Project Yorha. Wait, isn't that backwards? After a long period of battles and adventures, the Prophet spoke. Oh, grant me the mercy of the land. Oh, grant me the joy of the heavens. Release me from my yoke of iron. Thus shall our souls be. What was that? Crap! Did they find me? Negative. Emergency backup request from 2B. Close the server connection and activate my body. Affirmative. Ah, 9S. Operator? What happened? We recently detected large numbers of machine lifeforms throughout the factory area. We received a support request from 2B soon thereafter, but have been unable to respond due to poor reception. All right. I'll try to gain access from the main terminal. Use of server administration room requested. Request granted. You may now use the device in this room. Okay, good. 2B's black box signal is still up and running. These comms are all messed up. Guess I'll have to break into the other side and take control. I just have to 
unlock the door where two B is. Come <laughs> on. 
just in case. Appreciated. First door unlocked. 2B, keep going straight. 
Will do. Disabled. The door's open. Keep moving. All right. for me to be. Factory system at 50% control. Now we just have to do something about this core.
After a long period of battles and adventures, the prophet spoke. Oh, grant me the mercy of the land. Oh, grant me the joy of the heavens. Release me from my yoke of iron. Thus shall our souls be saved. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. <sighs> Those were the words I heard in the moon server. But why? Alert. 2B has defeated the Goliath-class heavy weapon unit. Hmm? Ah, right. Okay, good. Nine S. Commander. I'm sorry. You're needed back at command. Understood. You left quite a trail when you accessed the main server. That's what I wanted to speak with you about, Commander. <sighs> I found records stating that the Council of Humanity was established as part of Project Yorha, but I'd always heard it was the other way around. So did Yorha actually create the Council of Humanity? <sighs> yes. We installed the Council of Humanity's server on the surface of the moon. But that means... Mankind no longer exists. <sighs> In truth, humans never went to the moon at all. Any transmissions received from the moon are just dummy signals we set up in advance. The only thing there is a small bit of data relating to the human genome. But why would you... Humans were already extinct when the aliens attacked. All the details are stored on this memory chip. If you want to look at it, I won't stop you. Wait, you're just giving me this? But why? No one fights without a reason. And we need a god worth dying for. What path will you take? It's up to you to decide. Why? Why did you have to die? It's not fair! My only brother... Damn them! I'll kill them! I swear I'll kill them all! The human race is... gone. Thank <sighs> you. 
How do I tell 2B? Combat stations? I better get a move on. Alert. Mission orders received. Rendezvous with and support Unit 2B near the Resistance Camp. Any details? Large numbers of machine life forms are rampaging through the city ruins. What? How? They're supposed to be weakened. Cause unknown. Goliath class enemies also confirmed. Immediate action advised. Contact from command. Alert status raised to level 4. Repeat. Alert status raised to level 4. All Alert. All communications are currently being jammed. We'd better hurry. Detected nearby. She is likely engaged in combat. You okay? Good thing I landed that direct hit. Huh? Uh oh. You'll die. All of you are going to die. They're still... coming? What do we do? There's too many. Chubi? Chubi, can you hear me? Our village is under... Pascal? Come in, Pascal! Shit!
they're here too! Nymex! It seems the machines on the network have gone berserk. They've sealed off the entrance to the village and are trying to hold them off, but with these weapons, there's only so much we can do. Let's take these guys out first. like he's bombarding the area with forced connections. I think all these transmissions are making the machines go haywire. We have to find Eve and destroy him. On it. Ah, and here you are. I know you two feel the same. That this world is utterly meaningless. As far as I'm concerned, my brother was everything. And now, everything must die! You kill my brother! I... I... Absorbing the life force of whatever's left on the network. Damn it! We'll never get anywhere like this. I'm going to try hacking into Eve and shutting him down. Back me up, 2B! On it!
brother. I am brother. Why? I needed nothing else. What is this? Alert. Disruption detected in Yorha Unit 9S's subconsciousness data. Corruption potential critical. Evacuation recommended. Can't. Not when I'm this far. My brother wants everything to me. My life was contained in our moments. Alert. Corruption confirmed in Yorha Unit 9S's self-consciousness data. Immediate evacuation and treatment recommended. Just a little more. If I can remove Eve's object control function. Listen to me, Adam. I never disliked fighting, but I didn't want you to be hurt. And I especially didn't want to lose you. So let's go somewhere quiet. Together, my brother. over. I'm 
must have been corrupted when Eve detached from the network. It's okay. I can always reload my backup data from the bunker. But you'll lose you, the you that exists at this very moment. Guess so. But we can't upload this corrupted data to the bunker. So... I'm alive. Transmissions. They're resonating with each other. data in the machine side of things. Next thing I knew, my sense of self was regenerated over the surrounding network. Having multiple selves fused together like this is a pretty valuable experience, so I wanted to record it. But I couldn't access any storage areas yet, so I just multiplexed it over the memories of some nearby enemies so that when I returned to my own body, I... Yes. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah. And so, the final battle with Adam and Eve came to an end. This battle will likely have a great effect on the outcome of the war. 2B and I, our battle will continue for some time to come. But that's another story for another day.
To be. I was waiting for you. I needed to give you this. Say, to be. Uh, no, never mind. Just be careful. Planning preparations complete. Confirm equipment delivered to orders. Remember your pain. Pain of having your homeland stolen. We will never give up our struggle. We will take back the seas, the skies, the land. We will take back our world from the scourge of the machines. We will not fail in this mission. Here and now, we will put an end to this goddamn war. Glory to mankind. Glory.